Welcome to Scare Talk, a horror movie podcast for horror film reviews, ratings, rankings, and rumors. Now for your hosts, Danny, Joel, and Katrina. <laughs> Yeah, this is Scare Talk. I am Danny, and I'm here with Krampus Katrina. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we've got Holly Jolly Joel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Holly Jolly. Yeah. Man. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> You're All Jolly, right. I am... I'm just Krampus. Not Krampus. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> You're not Jolly. <laughs> You're not Holly or Jolly. <laughs> All right, so on the seventh day of Scaremus, my true love gave to me Katrina's pick. All the creatures were stirring. It's an anthology film um, that you can find on Shudder, actually. It's on Shudder if you want to go check it out. Um, So, yeah. Joel. I know you're gonna have fun oh. with this one, so let yeah. us know. Lots you know, of fun. Anthology. I just love doing this part for anthology movies. <laughs> let us know who um, is a part of it. So I just grabbed the first three um, actors from my MDB and put them in here. So we okay. got Constance Wu. She is in the segments in a twinkling. She was in Crazy Rich Asians, fresh off the boat for 116 episodes, and she is Daphne in that. Velma show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. Um, okay. And we got Jonathan Kite. He is in the All Through the House segment. He was in 138 episodes of Two Broke Girls, The Curse of Bridge Hollow, uh, which I think is that Marlon Wings movie yeah. that came out last year, and animated movie Smallfoot. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like how we have a reaction to that one. <laughs> well, what we've got, what we've seen. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then we got Jocelyn Donahue. She was in the segment The Stockings Were Hung. <laughs> she was in <laughs> Doctor Sleep, House of the Devil, and I Trapped the Devil. So. Okay. Nice. And That's some, like, no, no, no. Decent. Not, no. Yeah, but known some decent like stuff, stuff. That, that they've been in, yeah. Yeah, um, interesting. I wouldn't have guessed that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of all of them, I think I recognize Constance, Constance Wu just because I did watch uh, Fresh Off the Boat, which is a pretty funny show. But um, okay, um, it was written by Morgan Peter Brown. He did, he or she. Wrote the segments, the stockings were hung, and dash away all, and nothing else. <laughs> He's okay. they're not known for okay. anything else. Um, and then Joe Wicker also did stockings were hung and dash away all, and he wrote um, fun size horror volume two segment pinned. So another oh, anthology, another thing. anthology. All right. Yep. And then we've got David Ian McKendry. Wrote Glorious, Elevator Game, and Sins in the Suburbs. <laughs> no. And then Rebecca McKendry. And it's not, it didn't give me any information about what segments they did. So I'm assuming okay. they did the rest of them because they also directed this, this movie too. So the last two, David Ian and Rebecca McKendry. Um, Rebecca McKendry wrote Bring It On, Cheer or Die. <laughs> <laughs> not sure if that's another I bring did. on movie or not but. <laughs> yeah i did hear about that i think it came out last year i did hear oh, about really? this, this bring it on like horror movie horror. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny oh man <laughs> inside horror one episode and the double life of deanna sinclair one episode so all right and this was directed by the last two david ian mckendry and rebecca mckendry David directed Exquisite Corpse, which was a short, Feather, which was a short, and Zombies March, which was a TV movie. And Rebecca McKentry directed Psycho Granny, 
<laughs> oh. Elevator game and glorious. So Okay. That is it. <laughs> okay. Nice job, Joel. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the synopsis here is actually kind of lengthy. Um, so stay with me. <laughs> All right. When an awkward date on Christmas Eve leads a couple into a strange theater, they're treated to a bizarre and frightening collection of Christmas stories featuring a wide ensemble of characters doing their best to avoid the horrors of the holidays from boring office parties and last minute shopping to vengeful stalkers and immortal demons. There's plenty out there to fear this holiday season. Oh man. <laughs> Well, um, that good. description is really good. Way. Yeah. 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 Good job, IMDb. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. And you can see why I was excited to pick this movie. Yeah. Um, I was really excited about it being an anthology mm-hmm. and um, thought, oh, this will be fun. Yeah. Yeah. For Let's see what the critics yeah. thought. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, Let's see. Um, the tomato meter actually agreed. It is pretty fresh. It got a 62% oh, wow. on the tomato meter. What? Okay. <laughs> All right. How many uh, <laughs> reviews? 13. Oh, okay. <laughs> 13 <laughs> people in a very good mood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were, I guess, feeling the holiday cheer yeah, when yeah. watching this. <laughs> um, and But the audience, not. So much. Mm. They gave it a twenty six percent. Okay. <laughs> how many? How many people in the audience? <laughs> Fewer than fifty ratings. Wow. Um, okay. Okay. It doesn't so, even say the number. It just says fewer than fewer 50. than fifty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so um, then, IMDb gave it a five. Okay. And that has one thousand six hundred and fifteen. Okay. I think that's pretty fair. So, yeah. Hey, guys. Um, I wanted to ask you, why did we choose Zencaster to do our podcast? It's a good question. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, so we had gone to a, a bunch of different companies, different sites, and um, either the quality wasn't great or the pricing just wasn't in our um, – wasn't what we were wanting to pay. Um but then we went to Zencaster and the quality was really good and the um, the price was very affordable too. So we, uh, we've we been with them for about six months or so, yeah. uh, maybe slightly less. Um, and yeah, it's been really good so far. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah. I remember when you guys were looking around. Mm-hmm. So yeah, okay. what I like about Zencaster is the like ease of it. It's really easy to set up a recording, to invite Joel. We have to invite Joel into the recording. Um, and then after, there's like some post-production that you can do. Um, you can do some editing after you're done. Um, so it's like an all-in-one type of service. Okay, so that's yeah. why it doesn't take you as long yeah. to do all the editing. Yeah. Because guys, it used to take him all night. Now he gets it done pretty quick. He does yeah. a bunch of episodes all together. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, we actually have a deal for you guys. Um, if you go to zencaster.com slash pricing and use my code scare talk, and you'll get 30% off your first month of any Zencaster paid plan. I want you to have the same easy experience I get for all my podcasting and content needs. It's your time to share your story. Yes. Cool. All right. So Katrina, this was your pick. It was. So let's hear your thoughts. So, like I said, I was excited about an anthology. Um, I've really kind of come to like anthology. Um, I think that it can it can be really creative and really, um, really like there's so much you can do with it. Yeah. Um, And this 
did not live up to that, I don't think. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought that it was a very um, creative and cool way to do this anthology, like have this them in a theater watching this play and like mm. it's then showing us what yeah. the play is based on and stuff. Yeah. I thought that was kind of mm. cool. I thought that there was potential of going somewhere with that end scene of how yeah. they were ending it. And yeah, then it just really, really fell really short. Yeah. It really did. Yeah. And, and they had this like one creepy character in the whole movie and you were like waiting for something to happen. Yeah. And then it just, whoop, just ended. That's it. Mm-hmm. It was like, Oh wow. Yeah. It okay. was like, oh. yeah. <laughs> so you're not going to go anywhere with that. You're not going to actually do anything with this. And yeah. I mean, it just left you with, all right, that's it. They just watched this and she's yeah. creeped out and, and that's it. That's the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And did so, we ever find out like what the like, guy's intentions were like because he kept having to take the phone calls yeah yeah Did and we ever find in, out what during that was about? the play <laughs> during the play it showed his character because like the very yeah. last scene mm-hmm, of the play right. was them you yes. know and she was figuring that out and he was on the phone saying i need to feed tonight and whatever and like saying like i'm hungry and you know, yeah. like, he kept having, like stomach I can't issues. like his stomach was. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And so it was making it seem like, was he a vampire or something? Yeah. And he was going to attack her. And, but then he just sat down and was like, okay. yeah. And it was like, okay. <laughs> and then the guy just kept staring at him. And, and then like, he like laughed. He laughed. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was like, okay. So that was just all to like scare you or like, I don't know. Do it was just to- like, yeah, I, uh, I was gonna say um, just for like that that end part, I do want to um, point out there's a a few like YouTubers that I follow, and one uh-huh. of them is um, called the Real Rejects R E E L Rejects, and okay. it's Max, the guy who was on stage that played the guy that was in the audience, um, is one of the <laughs> is one of the Real Rejects oh, really? people that on there. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> I like, interesting. I recognize this guy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of so, cool. Yeah, that is cool. <laughs> uh, hey, maybe we'll maybe we can. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't um, bad mouthing them. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but the the thing is, is like each each little segment, it was like okay, it seems like it it has a story. There's a story there. There's like potential there, but nothing ever got to the point where it was like. Oh, I'm scared or, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? You know, it was like, oh, it's done. They were were just kind of, yeah. It was like, strange. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know. It would just, it just really fell short. And I feel like it had a good idea. Mm -hmm. And I kind of wanted a little bit more Christmas to it. See, I felt like it would, it was kind of Christmassy. Like each story was. Each story like had a themed. Christmas theme, but it yeah. wasn't like it didn't feel Christmassy. Right. Right. It Santa was like wasn't in, a, in a segment. So. <laughs> yeah, and I was thinking all the creatures were stirring. I was thinking like there's gonna be some like I don't know some like silly uh, creature. Well, well, silly uh, creature that was stirring, like Christmas. <laughs> creature yeah, you know like uh, christmas thing like i don't know c- creepy gingerbread or like yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like creepy elves or something <laughs> yeah. like if the like one creature that like the guy who had to be born on christmas or whatever yeah, the that one creature thing yeah if that had been like some creepy elf or something yeah. <laughs> like that would have been funny you know or at least added some more christmas to it it was just that it was just that he was shopping for Christmas and his birthday was on Christmas. Like, yeah, yeah. okay, that was because of Christmas part of it. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I was hoping for more. Yeah, more of a Christmas. The, what about the um, Rudolph one? <laughs> oh the, yeah, the reindeer Rudolph killing. Yeah, <laughs> I wish that they would have shown. 
Rudolph. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel like they really missed an opportunity there. Yeah. Because. I don't know if I would have wanted to see it. They didn't have the budget to show Rudolph. Rudolph. No, they probably wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, I just felt like they, um, you know, I don't know. They had like Blitzen and stuff. And yeah. They they showed him as a deer, you yeah. know, as a reindeer or whatever. And I'm like, they they could have shown like just even just a reindeer that right had a red nose. Yeah, you know, didn't have to show it like attacking and stuff. Just, yeah, just yeah. It. But like when it was like turning the corner or something, and yeah. you actually get like a little bit of a glimpse of yeah. oh, it is Rudolph. Like you knew it was Rudolph, but like yeah. Show us yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Show us that nose. I want to see the nose. Yeah. <laughs> this this to me has the exact opposite that um VHS gave, like the VHS movies where they gave like too much. Like the segments were too long. These yeah. segments were too short. <laughs> like they need to be yeah. a little bit a little bit longer. Um yeah. they didn't they didn't go in any like really crazy directions like VHS tends to do. So I do appreciate that. <laughs> um, yeah. There was that one in the parking lot that, that turned into like some monster segment, which was uh -huh. whatever, but they didn't, you know, it's an alien one too, but I, I kind of, I kind of like that one. I she did too. Kinda... I did too, actually. <laughs> it was kind of fun. I just didn't Dang. understand why. He, yeah, the one where um she that was the first one where she was outside and she's looking at the stars and well, that was like was way that was, that was like the last one where she sees no. a bright light. Yeah, I just watched this like today. It was, it was <laughs> the, the last one. Was the office. office. Oh, was the, the first, first one was one. the office. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, okay. Like well, it was the one where they were in the house, and then and then it went like black and white, and you're like, it's like Twilight. Um, and oh my gosh, you don't remember this? It's like Twilight. Yeah, and because <laughs> she comes in, and they're like, "Hi, Gabby." What do you want to oh, eat? And like, yeah. do you want to open your presents now? Oh, it was yeah. like the aliens. I totally forgot about that one. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I, I liked that one. I forgot about that one. I did kind of <laughs> like that one. Um, I just didn't understand why he wanted, why he was planning on chaining himself up. Oh, yeah. Like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. That why was. did you want to chain yourself? Because you knew they were coming. And you knew to just like play the game. I did like how they ended that one too. I thought that that one was done the best. Yeah. Where they like it's actually ended it and then it, you don't I'm remember. Like, yeah, but actually that one she, was okay. <laughs> yeah. It was, it ended because she got the doll that she always wanted. And then she admitted why she, why Christmas is so important to her. Yeah. Because like she values it so much because her yeah, parents it. never did Christmas mm. and she always wanted this doll. And so she's like, are you messing with me? You know, mm -hmm. um, that yeah. one turned out yeah, to have the most Christmas spirit. <laughs> the whole yeah, it did. It did. And I, I liked how like the aliens were like twitching, you know, like yeah, yeah. yeah. shorting out and whatever. <laughs> and, um, I liked how that one was done. I did like that one. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. I thought the office one sucked, 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 sucked. And it was the like, acting was pretty bad, I thought. Yeah, the acting was Yeah, it was so bad. And it was like, it was like, I wanted it to have, I wanted it to, to be good. I wanted it to like <laughs> excite me for the movie. And it was like, mm -hmm. oh man, this is what's going on. Like, that sucked. <laughs> because like how they ended it, where, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. First of all, uh, the whole way that this one gal died with the like vent, the smoke coming out of the vent. Yeah. And she's like, she's like not that close to the vent. They're yeah. all standing They're up moved. and she's sitting down. <laughs> yeah. And somehow it, all the smoke affected her and not anybody mm. else. They all yeah. were fine. They like just had to go like that, and could she have not closed her mouth? Like she could have moved, like, like and she did instantly, <laughs> yeah. instantly. Yeah. And it was like because it made you think, like, was the smoke coming out of the bullet? Like, but it showed it coming out of the, the vent, vent. Yeah. and so it was like, 
why did she die so instantly from it? Mm -hmm. And yet everyone else lived. And then all of a sudden the smoke was an issue again. Now the smoke's coming in the vent again, but now it's actually affecting you where it didn't affect you before. And so now you have to fight for this um, mask and the the chick that had the mask on, it was like, I don't even remember you being in here. (laughs) Like (laughs) you were so insignificant. And then, and then this chick, the littlest chick of all of them fights off all three people that are left to grab the mask and just leave and it's like why couldn't you just have the gal who has the mask on open the door and leave and like help you get if you were able to just open the door and leave why didn't you just do that before yeah how did you get the door (laughs) open like what i don't understand it didn't and it didn't show it yeah it didn't didn't show show the fight it it's like Okay, that would have been nice to be able to see, like, Mm -hmm. show the fight scene, show her actually defeat all these three people, like some Mm -hmm. mega ninja, (laughs) and and then show how did you all of a sudden be able to open the door when you weren't able to open it before? Is it just because you defeated all the people, so now the little janitor guy is going to open the door for you? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I also didn't understand why that one guy just like killed himself. Like, what? Oh, just, yeah. Like, really yeah. And just like, yeah. Kills himself. Why? What are you? What are you doing? <laughs> like, yeah, because fight, like, like <laughs> because like the chick that he liked had sex with someone else that yeah. is dead. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's like, well, he's dead now, so maybe you have a chance now. <laughs> <laughs> and then that kill was that kill did make me laugh. Like. We did have to watch this a couple times because I fell asleep. Um, <laughs> so times. We were we to watch movie. twice as many movies. <laughs> yeah, I did try to stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, um, <laughs> but both times that we watched that scene, I was cracking up. Because it's like the, the blood, way yeah. it, the way it cut, and then like it, the blood is just yeah. like, oh my gosh, it, it was, was like just, paint. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it was so funny. It was pretty yeah. shocking. The first guy that died, the opened the package and like, oh yeah, my gosh, and the bullet head. straight through his head. Like, yeah, guy who looked like. Like a knockoff Jim Halpert from The Office. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Jim was, oh, he didn't last very long, all right? <laughs> so. I know, and he seemed like he was going to be like the most fun character, but, um, <laughs> but that that first kill was like, oh, okay, yeah. here we go. Mm-hmm. Like I was excited, yeah. and then the rest of it was just like just fell short. It was like, don't I start mean, off that good, and then the rest yeah. of it suck, yeah. you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. and you there were the, no the, other the shocking. Um, presence or anything. Yeah, yeah it was no. like a bullet, and then yeah, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> it's like, and then a gun that wasn't even wrapped. It was just on the table, like out yeah. for everyone yeah. to, <laughs> to see. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no one noticed that before. Like it's been there the whole time. <laughs> been there, yeah. <laughs> oh, and then the guy who was in this like green room that it's like. All of a sudden, they look over. Oh my gosh! Like that room's been there the whole time, yeah. and like you never noticed that there was like this green light and like someone dead right in front of the door. Like, <laughs> just, there was so much wrong with it. Yeah. So for that to be the opening scene, it's a bummer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Yeah, I I didn't really care for it. I would say this was probably the worst one that we've watched so far that yeah. we've reviewed in the twelve days. Definitely, um, I agree. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I think. So there is another uh, Christmas anthology one that we watched. Um, oh, this is news to me. What was it called? <laughs> Oh Oh, man, I can't think of the name of it now. I think it was just called The Christmas Tapes. Oh yes, I was thinking about that and I was wondering, did we review it? No. Oh, see, I wish we would have picked that one for this. Yeah. Um, I mean, this gave us something to talk about, but we have to do that. Yeah. 
yeah Christmas maybe a bonus a bonus episode <laughs> maybe if, if we if we get enough done we'll have like an episode on christmas day that oh, for anyone who <laughs> at the end of christmas day yeah needs something to it's, do uh yeah it's another anthology christmas uh themed movie um, yeah this guy shows up at christmas eve some people's house don't give away we're gonna do an episode we just start <laughs> seeing other films Short that's films. it. That's yeah. it. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I think it was the worst one we've reviewed during yeah. these 12 days. Um, it had, it had I want to know, like, Joel. We had some decent stuff going on. It's just, yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, what I was saying about VHS is it, is it, it could have been a little bit longer. Um, yeah. Whereas VHS, like each segment is like 20 minutes long. <laughs> Not that long, but you know, <laughs> might as well be. Um, where these could have been definitely, could have been at least five minutes longer to sort of wrap yeah, to up. Yeah, completely wrap them up. Yeah. To wrap it up. Yeah. 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 Cause yeah, I, cause I think like... there was only one that wrapped up. The alien one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the one. So I didn't really care for this one but this one did wrap <laughs> up where um I, I don't remember what segment this was but um it's about the the neighbor who has this, oh, this guy gosh. goes over to this guy's <laughs> house and the christmas carol yeah it's yeah it's basically a christmas carol um yeah, yeah but done so, so terribly <laughs> So yeah. so bad. I, I didn't like it, but it wrapped up. <laughs> I guess he likes it Christmas did. after that. Like, yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I guess it did, but oh, that was done so bad. It was. Yeah, it had such potential too. Again, like each one had like this potential, and it's like, mm. oh, you destroyed it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So bad. And I do, yeah. and I, I. I did like the main story that was going on, the, like the wraparound story. I did that too. Was connected to it, but it didn't go anywhere at the end. Yeah. But it ended per- terribly. Yeah, I, it like yeah. I was gonna say it ended, but yeah, I guess like I don't really. I mean, did it really? Yeah, I don't. I'm trying to like think now because that was one that we basically started talking about, yeah. and it ends with him just saying, "I'm hungry." I'm, <laughs> want to get something to eat? And, yeah, yeah, and but like not like, even okay. in a creepy way, or just yeah. like. Yeah. Well, it was creepy because it was it was a repeat of what because you knew of, yeah of the, of the Max on stage was already saying that had already yeah. said that yeah and but so, he didn't say it in the creepy way yeah. you know like he mm-hmm. should have been like. Ooh, I'm hungry. Like, I don't know. Something. I don't know. And then yeah. like like have her have some kind of fight or like I don't know, like Yeah. Something. Well, it's just like, okay, what what was the point? Like, why were the people on stage acting that out? Yeah. Like, where's the connection there? Like, what was what why and how yeah. and yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, sometimes these anthology things are just to like kind of give you a little taste and then yeah. cut it off so that you have like this, like, oh, what, you know, kind of what, what would happen. And also, these things are made sometimes to become bigger things. Mm-hmm. So, it this like gives these like no name writers and directors like an opportunity mm-hmm. to kind of put their vision out there. Yeah. Um, to be seen and then, you know, potentially get, you know, opportunities. I will, yeah. So. I will say I, I, I was wondering, cause like we were watching these segments through the eyes of the people in the theater. Like we were, you know, <laughs> yeah. seeing what, what, what quote unquote they were seeing. Um, and I was like, how, how are like, you're showing full on offices. You're showing a parking lot, <laughs> yeah. but then yeah. it does cut later on to like them going to them back in the theater and like yeah. how it's actually, how they're actually seeing it. <laughs> like this guy just as a reindeer and like, he's like <laughs> yeah. the guy and like, just yeah. like 
red confetti and the red out. ribbon <laughs> is like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's actually pretty clever because that's yeah, that, yeah I like that. Pretty, you can't be seeing what we're seeing right now in the theaters. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah was, in a play, like yeah, yeah, and like with the office scene, <laughs> and it's like the fog machine, like going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I will say, um, I was like kind of looking at some of the reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, like reading what yeah. some people said, and I really liked what this um, Brian Eggert said. He said, um, sadly, the best thing about all creatures we're stirring is the poster. Nah. <laughs> and I'm like, I feel like yeah, that's so true. Cool. And the poster was so cool and so misleading because, um, like, you can see oh, yeah. it's mm-hmm. like. There's it's something like an in that ornament room. and there's like a creature coming yeah. out. And so that's where I thought that there was going to be more like Christmas. I don't know. Christmas like fun. Yeah. And like a little bit of a twist to like Christmas creatures. And like, I think about Krampus yeah. and um, like how they had the little gingerbread guys yeah. and like the, the, the Christmas creatures so, that yeah. like were just, so fun you know and i thought they'd do something with that and they didn't do anything this wasn't even in there it's like they had that creature (laughs) that was the blue one that had those long fingers or whatever but there was nothing with ornaments or with christmas to him and i thought he would have some kind of christmas about him because the only date that does anything that affects him is Christmas. It's Christmas, yeah. So mm-hmm. why doesn't he have some kind of Christmassy look? Yeah, could have at least had a Santa hat or something. <laughs> oh yeah, or or like like I said, be like an elf, like yeah. have elf ears and like be green and yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, all know. right. Well, yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, rate it. All right, I'm gonna give this one a. 35. Okay. Wow. <laughs> cool. Um, Joel, what do bummed. you think? I, you know, I liked some of this, this one. Um, but yeah, I really wish they had wrapped up like all their segments. I'm going to give this one a 53. All right. Um, I'll go 50. Okay. Yeah. I'll go 50. Um, you know, you're excited to talk about Christmas tapes. And I I don't know if it's any better than this one. From hmm. what I remember. I mean, we might have to watch it again, but I'm wondering if I'm combining it with something else. Is it yeah, the guy that's know. dry well, we'll talk about it. The Santa <laughs> guy. Yeah. In, that's one of them. In the box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know. That one just stuck with me. I, I've been thinking about it the last few days and like, huh. oh, have we done that? And we should okay. probably talk about that. And hmm. there was more Christmas to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably true. I guess that's what I was most bummed about. I was re- really trying to pick a, a Christmassy movie. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't okay. remember what I rated other things. And so I thought I better rate it pretty low because yeah. I think – uh, Nutcracker probably got a pretty low score, so I had to rate it lower than that. Yeah, yeah. Nutcracker, yeah. Nutcracker did okay. Um, I think for, for all three of us. So. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. I should probably write down my scores so then I know how to score better, but whatever. <laughs> I've always said that we needed a rubric. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that was the seventh day of Scaremus. And coming up for the eighth day of Scaremus tomorrow... We are going to talk about the worst films of the year, the worst horror films of the year. Yep. We each have five that we're going to discuss and count no down. <laughs> no, no honorables for this one. Um, yeah, so but you do that. not want to miss it. Yeah, it we're, is. Yeah, it is a list. Good one. It is a list. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, check that out tomorrow. Make sure to go to ZenCaster if you want to make a cool podcast. Uh, cause you know, yeah, like us. Yeah. And <laughs> if you want to stay hydrated mm-hmm. and, um, keep 
energized with your hydration, yeah, go ahead and go get some liquid IV yeah. and use Scare Talk code. Yeah, get get twenty percent off. Twenty percent, yes. Yeah. All right. This has been Scare Talk. I should say this has been Scare Miss. Yeah. We haven't been saying that, so we have to start saying that now. And so, <laughs> oh well, text. this has been scare talk. <laughs> All right, don't let Who even the creatures bite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>